Oh, Scrooge McDuck not holding anything back, and I'm not gonna hold it back either once the song starts. Life is like a hurricane here in Duckburg. Race cars, lasers, aeroplanes, it's a duck blur. You might solve the mystery or rewrite history. A DuckTales, woo! Every day they're out there making DuckTales, woo! Tales of daring, do bad, and good luck tales, woo! D -d 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 danger mongry singing and that's enough of that theme song yeah and if you guys want to see that on YouTube you can but I'm done singing for now but you gotta admit my voice is like that it's like that songbird on that branch well not the actual bird that's on the branch but if you look to the right that crow sitting next to that bird that's what my voice is like you gotta admit I got that I got that going on I do but anyways welcome to DuckTales Woo been waiting for this game forever and what should we enter into Duckburg with? Easy, medium, or hard? Well, you gotta go with easy when it comes to making a fortune. That's how I roll. And why not just bomb the money bin to start? Oh yeah, who could this be? I wonder, lots of bombs? Maybe lots of dogs. Lots of Beagle Boys, and they're coming through. Now that's a large litter. Ma, you were busy. Money bin alarm. Quick, Duckworth, get the limo. I shall, uh, <clears throat> Get her in gear, sir. Hurry, Duckworth, hurry! The pedal is to the metal, Mr. McDuck. Oh, not the Beagle Boys again. If they think they can stand between Scrooge McDuck and his three cubic acres of cash, they've got another thing coming. Oh, poor Scrooge McDuck. Everybody always going for your cash flow, your dollar dollar, your number one dime. And you know what? When you're a bazillionaire, you gotta be prepared. Look at this security. I mean, look at these hammers going on in the background and everything. I'm loving this. This wasn't in the original Nintendo game, so this is very cool. Got the same pogo stick going on. Loving it this far. Ugh! Scrooge McDuck, I give you an early woo! -hoo. Are you all right, my boy? Yeah, but you better watch out. The Beagle Boys mess with your security system. <laughs> yeah, we take over the whole place. Yeah, <laughs> me money. Hey, don't forget about me, Uncle Scrooge. Eh? Oh, 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 don't worry, lad. I'll save you. Hmm, do I go to save Huey or the money? Huey or the money? And how do you get yourself trapped by Baggy Beagle? Come on, he's the doofus of the bunch. Look at his clothes. Oh, 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 now that's what I call a stomachache. You were hit on the head, you moronic marauder. Thanks, Uncle Scrooge. You're welcome, lad. But Huey, what are you doing here? Well, we saw the Beagle Boys going into the money bin. We? Sure. Louie and Dewey are here, too. You better hurry, Uncle Scrooge. You might be in trouble. Ah, kids these days, I tell you, what is the point of the Junior Woodchuck Guidebook if you're not going to use it? And look at this, we got the classic golf swing, I just love that, and the feathers fly. If you guys didn't know, played this game a little bit ago on Bro Bras, the original Nintendo, check that out if you get some time. Super fun playthrough as well, and we had a great time with this game, and I am so excited to get my hands on this finally remastered version, and for it to have an extra level at the start, spectacular, or should I say, duck Spectacular! Ho oh, ho! Woo! -hoo. And there's gonna be a lot of woo hoo. So get your woo hoo hoo's ears on. Yeah, do it. Get them on right now because they're coming at you. They're coming at you in abundance. So I can't wait. Here we have another Beagle Boy. And if you guys don't know about the Beagle Boys, there's tons and tons of them. All pushed out by my Beagle, if you know what I mean. So she, like I said before, has been busy. But she never seemed to make. A really smart one. I guess maybe Big Time Beagle could be considered a smart Beagle, but even with him, he's pretty dumb, and I'm guessing we will see him in the game eventually. And here we have the classic Golf and Pogo Over. And here we have another Beagle, of course, and I popped these guys' names up on my computer screen because they are the villains that I cannot remember all their names to, and I will go over them with you guys for sure. Hey, kid, you got a sandwich or something? Let me 
to trouble me. Get away from him, you gluttonous goon. Sorry, Scroogey. Not a chance. Oh yeah, we have Burger Beagle, which is actually my favorite Beagle because he doesn't care about the money. He only wants the burger or the sandwich. So you know what? Let's give him a butt out of here, Burger. Yeah. You saved me, Uncle Scrooge. I yeah, did. Are you hunt lad? Nah, I'm fine. But I saw Louie heading up the stairs with about a thousand Beagle boys right behind him. Stay here. I'll handle this. Oh yeah, another nephew saved. And I don't want to lose the Beagle Boy topic since I do have this screen popped up on my computer, so I do want to tell you them all right away because I will not remember every Beagle Boy later. The ones that I remembered were Big Time Beagle, Baggy Beagle, Bank Job Beagle, and Babyface Beagle, but there's also Bebop Beagle, Bouncer Beagle, Burger Beagle, Megabyte Beagle, Bomber Beagle, Backwoods Beagle, Binky Beagle, Bacon Beagle, Bullseye Beagle, Bulkhead Beagle, Butterball Beagle, Bombshell Beagle, Bankroll Beagle, Brainstorm Beagle, Buns Beagle, Boom Boom Beagle, Bonsai Beagle, Backaroo Beagle, Beanball Beagle, and Butterball Beagle. Lots, lots of Beagles, and of course, Ma Beagle. With no dad, it's tough raising all these kids in this generation when the father just runs away and doesn't support the kids. I mean, come on, where's the child support, Beagle? You gotta rob the money bin. That's why we're here, for the child support. If Scrooge is their father, oh my gosh, it could be, could be. But it's highly unlikely. You might want to ask for that DNA, Scrooge, because none of the Beagles have feathers or a quack accent. And is this a secret? No. That's a dead duck. <laughs> you never know where the secrets are, especially if there's like the old secrets in this game. This level was never in the old game. I think I mentioned that already. And ooh, ice cream. I like ice cream. Ice cream tastes good. Very good. But yeah, you never know where there's secrets. And I'm hoping there's a lot of new ones and the old ones in like the old zones like the Amazon and Transylvania. And here we got the invincibility, so no beagle stands a chance. And I love the little money sign behind it. Looks really cool. I like that. Like what they did there. Real clever. But back on that child support thing, I was going to say, none of them have the quack accent, and I can't get through this first episode without doing my Donald Duck impression after this. Hold on, lads. I'll have you free in a jiffy. Not so fast, big job. We're running things around here now. Cuss me, kill. One false move and I'm a roast duck. Please be a scrooge. It's not worth it. Nonsense, my boy. So our last nephew, Louie, is pinned up here by Bouncer Beagle. Huey, Dewey, and Louie are all nephews of Donald Duck. And I said I would do it, so here I'm going to do it. My Donald Duck impression. Now, I can't speak any actual words, but neither could he. So it's the same, right? Right? <laughs> and I'm just loving this playthrough. I'm loving this game already. I hope you guys are enjoying it as much as I am going to enjoy this. And Scrooge, I just want to comment. He is what it's all about. Rich, in charge, adventurous, and epic. We almost got them all! A fat lot of good that will do us if they make it to me vault. Oh, Scrooge, I think we're good here. We have everything at our disposal. We got Gizmo Duck, we got Launchpad, we got the supplies to take out the Beagle Boys. And you know what? I think we, ooh, we got a little cake there. That means a little bit of a boss battle coming up. So now I'm excited here to see what they do with this boss battle that I haven't seen. Here we are. Real nice. Step away from me, Fortune, you crook. Uh, 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 not this time, McDuck. Oh, you ain't getting the drop on this Beagle Boy. Oh, big time, Beagle. You got nothing, bro. You got nothing on Scrooge. And I love how Duckworth just comes here, <laughs> lowers the safe. Awesome. Can you just, like, do something more than just standing there now? Maybe, like, trip him? But I guess the safe is enough work. For his budget. We're not paying him much. He's kinda slow with the limo driving. We wanna get there faster. And Duckworth, in all honesty, very cool butler. One of the coolest. He's right up there with Alfred Pennyworth. And look at his getup. It's pretty awesome. I mean, the straight purple. Gotta love it. Classic dog with the nose up in the air. Like, hmm, I guess I can press this button here. It's not in my job description, but it could reflect greatly on my Christmas bonus. <laughs> and I just love that we're using the globe, because we are a traveler as well. And Big Time Beagle, it's time for you to go back to jail. Curse you, muck duck! This ain't the last you'll see of me! 
Yeah, good riddance to bad beagles, I say. Now, why in the world was he interested in this old painting? Surely there are more valuable... Well, pluck me pin feathers. It looks like some kind of secret code. Boys, boys! What did you find, Uncle Scrooge? Yeah, what is it? I'm not sure, but I know how to find it out. I'll feed it into my supercomputer and use Gyro's new crypto analysis program. Then we'll know what the Beagle Boys were after. <laughs> Stand back, lads. Brick a doon! What is it, Uncle Scrooge? It's a treasure map, lads. And no ordinary treasure by the look of things. Only Uncle Scrooge would call any kind of treasure ordinary. Look! One of the treasures is in the middle of the Amazon. And there's another one in Transylvania. And one very ten miles underground. Hey, wait a minute. Something screwy. This last treasure can't be right. Yeah, there's no mountain on Earth that's that high. Well, according to the Junior Woodchuck's guidebook, to get there we'd have to take about 537 million steps straight up till we reach the moon. You mean the moon moon? It looks that way, lads. <laughs> well, what are we waiting for? That treasure's not going to discover itself. Aw oh, yeah, I'm excited. I'm so excited that with the spirit of Scrooge McDuck and all his money, we're gonna do a giveaway on this video. I'm gonna give away three different either Microsoft points, Wii points, or PlayStation points, depending on what you have. And I'm gonna give away a $15 value to three different people on this video. So all you have to do to enter in for this giveaway is to like, favorite, and comment down below on this video. And that's not it. If you want a double entry, all you have to do is go to BroBras, and I got the link in the description. Comment, like, and favorite the first original DuckTales video on the BroBras channel, and also subscribe there, and you will enter in twice for this video giveaway, and then we will be picking the winners this Friday. I'm excited, so do that. Once again, the giveaway is for three $15 values depending on what system you have and that is so that you can get your own copy of DuckTales or a different game if you so choose and the winners will be picked this Friday. So don't forget, like, comment, favorite, subscribe and also go do that at Bro Bros for a double chance on the original first DuckTales video. Link is in the description below. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this first episode. Have a great day and welcome to Duckburg everyone. A woo!